Bloomberg's big take on Monday was that the world economy was suddenly running low on everything. Among the products the economy was running low on, according to Bloomberg, were copper, iron, or steel, corn, coffee, wheat, and soybeans. Conveniently enough for Bloomberg, they happened to license a coffee index. And there's an exchange traded note based on it. So for investors looking to bet on coffee in light of the current shortage, there's a way to do it. The symbol is J-O, as in a cup of Joe. It's also possible to head to that ETN. So let's take a look at doing that now. And this is a way you can bet on coffee going up, but protect your downside in the event it doesn't. So the first thing we'll do is open up the Portfolio Armor iPhone app, and we'll type in the symbol JO. And as you see here, it stands for the iPath Series B Bloomberg Coffee Subindex Total Return ETM. And we'll put in a number of shares. Here we'll put in a thousand. And then the next field, we enter in the largest decline that we're willing to risk. So you can enter whatever you like here, but for this example, we'll put in 20 for 20%. And then we'll stick with our default time to expiration here, which goes out using the options expiration closest to six months out. And then we'll tap find optimal hedge. And here we're presented with the optimal put options to protect against a greater than 20% decline in Joe between now and December 17th. As you can see, the cost here was $2,900 or 7.03% of position value. That annualized to 12.04% of position value. But this was based on the ask price of the puts. In practice, you can often buy and sell options at some price between the bid and ask. So you'd probably pay a little bit less in reality. But still, if you want to lower your cost, one way to do it would be to indicate that you're willing to cap your possible upside. So for simplicity's sake, let's just put in 20% as our cap and see what kind of optimal collar we're presented with. And here, we're presented with one where the net cost is now negative, negative $2,050, which means you would collect a net credit of 2050 or 4.97% of position value when opening this hedge. That analyzes to negative 8.51%. So again, to be conservative, the put options here in the put leg of the collar are priced at the ask and the call egg is priced at the bid. So what this means is you would collect $2,050 assuming you placed both trades in this collar, buying the puts and selling the calls at the worst end of their respective spreads. So you probably make a little bit more in terms of a net credit when opening this edge. But something to consider if you want to bet on coffee continuing to go up and you want to hedge your downside in the event it stops doing that.